previously on All My Children. Listen, last night I I held you and I kissed you. And today I saw you with Adam. And we were married. And I was really wrong to cross the line. I'm sorry. I love you, Gloria Marsh. I love you too, Dad Marsh. With the angels, no. No. No, because I haven't even held him yet. Lucretia says that everything's in order. Rack of lamb, new red potatoes. Gardenias. The valley floor sent a, a spray of orchids, and so no, I have no, that... No, 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 gardenias. Sir... Get gardenias. Yes. Yeah. Track them down. If They have to be in season somewhere. Book a flight if you have to and pick them yourself. Get gardenias. Yes, sir. I want you to put them in Liza's bedroom. I want you to fill the room with gardenias. I would hurt tripping over gardenias. Uh, uh -huh. Wine? Uh, uh, 87 Bordeaux. Excellent. That's her favorite. Uh, dining room. Uh, table set, ready to serve. Keep the door closed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to knock off her pumps when she walks the in. The room just looks spectacular. No glitches. No last-minute confusion. I want everyone on their toes tonight. I, I will inform the staff, sir. Excuse me. Well, if it isn't Field Marshal Chandler keeping the humble domestic troops on their tippy toes. Good evening, Mumsy. Are we entertaining a head of state tonight? We or? are not entertaining anyone. You will receive a tray in your room. Oh, cold porridge and water again? No surprises, Marion. No grand entrances. Oh, darling, this must be somebody very important. Liza has pulled in the best numbers this station has ever seen. And her hard work deserves a reward. All this for Liza? Mm -hmm. Well, darling, certainly she'd want her mother. She'd want her mother safely tucked in upstairs like a good little neurotic. Oh, but darling, I think that... Oh... Oh, well, of course, darling. I mean, I wouldn't dream of interrupting. I mean, uh, newlyweds do need their privacy. <laughs> bon appetit, darling. Ooh. <laughs> well. <laughs> for tomorrow's show. Well, the telemarketing firm didn't come through, so I'm downstairs manning, manning phones, tabulating results myself. Well, Rudy, we gotta call a temp agency. I thought of that. There's not enough notice. Well, then pull Jake in. He can handle some of your load. Jake is gone for the day. Gone where? Last I heard, skating with Belinda Kiefer. Skating? He knew we were doing a viewer poll today. Liza, it's not Jake's job. It is his job. Today is his job. I want those numbers. Now go back to the phone and I'll get you your support. Thank you, boss. Yeah. Oh, the ankle. It's better. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, Is that all right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's even a mild sprain. Uh, 
Is that your professional opinion? What, don't you trust a med school dropout? <laughs> well, you do make a wicked cup of hot cocoa. Uh, it's a Martin staple. All right, that's up. What? When was the first time you strapped on a pair of ice skates? Five years old. I was a mite on ice, an atom, a peewee, and a full-fledged midget. A what? <laughs> <laughs> Club hockey, junior hockey. I was uh, on the Pine Valley Pioneers. Four hat-tricks one season. Hat-trick? Yeah. It's uh, three goals in a single game, three cornered hats. You don't like... Ice hockey. No, no, I, I don't know ice hockey. Well, we'll have to change that then. Next time we're out on the ice, I'll demonstrate my slap shot. And I'll demonstrate my full face splat shot. Oh, <laughs> come on, you did fine. Oh, please, compared to what? We will have you gliding along the ice in no time. <laughs> Good. That was fun. Yeah. And it was real sweet of you to meet me and surprise me after my class. My pleasure. You know what? I could have sworn that thing broke when I hit the ice. <laughs> no such luck. No, apparently not. Excuse me for No second. problem. Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh, Belinda, it's Liza Colby. Yeah, I'm so happy I got a hold of you. Listen, we need to get those depositions for the McKenzie cases taken by the end of the week. Yeah, they're upping the damages against the station, too. Well, they can't. Oh, <laughs> they are. And if we don't get those depositions by the end of the week, we're, I think, you tell me, we're in contempt. Fine. Um, it'll mean I'll have to work all night long, but uh, I'll take care of it. I'm sorry, Belinda. I just knew I could count on you. Bye. I'm sorry. Did they find the car? Pull from the lake. And the ba the basket that um Erica put the baby in was still strapped to the front seat. I'm terribly sorry, Edmund. If there's anything at all we can do. They haven't found it. reaction a long time. It's almost convincing. What are you talking about? How could you look into an innocent little face like that? Because your baby, you were jealous that my baby was born healthy and after you lost yours? And hating me was not enough? Was that it, Erica? You promised that you would protect him and take care of him. Yes, and I, I tried. I, I tried. I swear that I did that. But because it was Dimitri's baby, you could never live with that. Is that it? I wasn't even thinking. Dimitri, I, I just wanted to get help for the baby. You're just distraught, and, and, and you are imagining... Why didn't you just kill me back in the cabin, Erica? Why didn't you just kill me there? Why did you have to take out your sick revenge on my baby? All My Children, brought to you by Energizers. Hi. Oh. ABC Shocking tonight. Erica was brought in suffering from exposure. Well, is there any word on the baby? I don't believe it. I mean, when, when Gloria told me that she had to cancel our lunch date, she said it was an emergency, but I had no idea. I mean, it makes sense. She and Dimitri are very close. Gloria's been such a big help. Is she still in the ER? Uh, yes, I think so. I can page her. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll catch up with her later. She's been wonderful. Oh, uh, with everyone. Edmund, Maria. Oh, don't you. Oh. oh, if only we had more nurses like her. <laughs> so you're a fan? You doubted it? Well, well, honey, you're not still worried that I don't approve of you? No, I'm worried you're going to say you do, but then you're going to shoot me the eyebrows. What I the eyebrows, the same eyebrows you gave me when I was in seventh grade and I wanted to submit my earthworm 
exhibit for the science fair. You said yes, but your eyebrows told me I should flush the whole thing down the toilet and start over again. I can't stop making this it's up. It's a historical fact. <laughs> what do my eyebrows have to do with Gloria? Everything. At least I know now you really approve. <sighs> well, are you happy? Very. And Jamie? Oh, he's bouncing off the wall. In a good way. Gloria's amazing, you know. She she talks to him on his level. She makes the, the simplest things fun. That kid is on cloud nine. Mm, you look like you're on the cloud nine yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Can't beat the view. Matter of fact, I think we're ready to take the next step. You're going to ask Gloria to marry you? Oh, my, get a life. Well... I mean, you said next step. Yeah, no, I just, you know, we're thinking about sharing the same address. Toothbrush holder. I think that Gloria and I should live together. Would you rather be alone? I'm not sure why I can. No one understands God's plan. This has nothing to do with God. It was an accident, you know? A terrible accident. Things happen for a reason. Edmund lost his child. No one can make sense of that. God doesn't punish little children. No. No, he leaves that to us. Dimitri, you're so used to taking care of everybody else. It's, it's only natural that you'd want to take away Edmund and Maria's pain. I caused their pain. No, you didn't. Edmund despises me. Edmund is living a parent's worst nightmare. That baby was mine, Gloria. Not Edmund's. He was mine. Dare you accuse me? You're here, Erica. You're here. Where's my baby? The car. The car skidded on a sheet of ice. It, it went out of control. It, it, it went through the guardrail. I couldn't stop it. The next thing I knew, it was it was plunging into this this cold water. It was it was so cold and so dark, and I couldn't see anything. But I dove and I dove and I dove to find the baby. But the basket was empty. I couldn't hold on to the baby, and the current was so strong. It was so quick. I don't know. I think that I that I blacked out. I don't even know how I got to shore. I, if you cry, I will just strangle you, so help me. I hate you. But I would never, never hurt a baby. Any baby. Not even yours. You dragged me to that cabin, and you planned every last twist and yes, second of it. because I wanted you to uh, take responsibility for what but you I had would done. But I would hurt the baby. I would have my baby right now if I had gotten to a hospital. Your baby? You mean the baby you made with my husband? No, if you and Dimitri hadn't cheated on me, if you and Dimitri hadn't betrayed Edmund and me, there would be no baby. Whatever I have done, you drove me to it. And all of this is your fault. Every last bit of it. Zing. This week on General Hospital. I'll be with you. I'm never going to lose you. <laughs> One woman in love with two men. And whenever your feelings for Sonny, I know that you love me enough to be honest with me. Brenda's going to come around once she's ready. Is she ready to choose? There's some things that happened in the cave that I need to tell you about. General Hospital, ABC Daytime. Uh, I guess you'll have to give your rain check on the hot shop. Oh, thank you. WRCW wasn't such an important client, uh, I don't think. No, no, I understand. It's fine. Guess I'm still trying to prove myself with Montgomery Associates. Long hours, special requests. 
part of the uh, package. Well, when I was in med school, my beeper had a mind of its own. It's the first thing I tossed out when I left. I bet. I had fun tonight. Me too. Let's do it again. I'd like that. Okay. Um, I'll walk you to the door. Oh, no, please stay. <laughs> Enjoy your chocolate. Are you sure your ankle's okay? I'm fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, well, do it again. How about dancing next time? <laughs> Good. I'm a lot better on a dance floor than I am in an ice skating room. Really? Well, I'm not, so maybe you can show me some of your moves. Deal. Deal. Okay. Right. Good night. All right, take care. question. Rudy is doing the work of a hundred people. Ru He's doing the overnight polling. And what are you doing? What, are you watching a game, warming up a TV dinner? I checked with Rudy before oh, I did. left. Oh, yeah. Well, television is like this. We don't punch a clock. Everybody pitches in. What, you can't get your hands dirty? Who said I... I wh what? I expect 110% of everyone. Nothing less. What is your problem? You. Jake? You are my problem. Just stay out of my way. Adam, I wouldn't dream of ruining Liza's perfect evening. I am going to be the model mother-in-law. The model mother-in-law lives in a foreign country. Well, oh, darling, should I get that? No. But... I will answer my own door, thank you. Well, how middle class of you, darling. Did I miss an appointment? No, I was on my way home. Since I haven't heard from you for a while, I thought I'd get a progress report. Oh, uh, come on in. Uh, keep your voice down. She's gone. Isa? No, Marion. She's so entrenched in this house, I'll need a court order to get rid of her. The longer this marriage goes on, the harder it's going to be to get rid of either of them. I take it uh, your wife hasn't uh, slipped. No, 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 no. She's attracted to Jake Martin. There's something in the air. But, but what's in the air won't stand up in court. But I, I've practically thrown them together. I've turned my back, given them my blessing. Time is your end. Well, you just handle the legal end, Barry, and I'll do my part. I'm, we're entering phase two. Adam Chandler here. Mr. Chandler, it's Rudy. Is Liza there? Isn't she at the studio? No, she left a uh, message on my voicemail that she could be reached at Jake's. Jake Martin? But she's not picking up. And one of our advertisers has called with concerns over tomorrow's show, and they're threatening to pull out. They're blowing smoke. Uh, when Liza checks in, I'll have her phone you. But what do I do? I said I'd handle it. Problem? Liza's at Jake's. All right, let's hear it for phase two. What are you doing? Calling my best investigator. If we're lucky, we'll have pictures by midnight. No, no, put the phone down. That's what you've been waiting for. I said, hang up. She could be cheating on you right now. Once we get proof, Liza's gone. She's out on the street without a dime. Uh, what is it? You okay? Yeah, it's just I... I've got a cramping. It's, it's, uh... Pretty common after birth, giving birth. Maybe I feel sick. I want my son. Our son. Our son. How stupid am I to trust Erica? I can't. Look, look, nobody knew what she was. What she was up to. There were clues and there were yeah, hints. And... Hindsight is cruel, okay? Nobody knew she was that disturbed. But I trusted her. She swore she would protect my baby. I know. I know. Look, we have to believe that there was no pain and no suffering. And that he's 
This was God. God took him home and, and he took care of him. And now he's safe. He's finally safe. shape is your toothbrush in? Erica won't even see me. Give her some time. Time? To drift further apart? Maybe. For a little while. Trying to do what was right for everyone, but nobody can change the past. Oh, you are a wise woman. <laughs> so says you. <laughs> Erica's carrying around a lot of guilt. You both are. Take your time. You think it's too late to pray for a miracle? Never too late. If Erica can find it in her heart to forgive me. Look who was feeling lonely for Mommy and Daddy. There's my buddy. How you feeling, yeah. champ? You, knew, you missed us, huh? Yeah. Oh, if I could just hold him this close for the rest of his life, I would. <laughs> Do you think he knows? I think he senses something's wrong. Mm -hmm. oh, be. You know, I feel incredibly blessed right now. Because I have you and Sam to help me heal. There's enough love here for all of us to heal, honey. All of us to get through this. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sammy, what do you say we, we sleep all together in bed, huh? Camp out there. Is that a good idea? What do you think, baby? Yeah, sweetheart. I'd like that. Mom would like that very much. Yeah. Oh, Murdo. Oh, Murdo. 
Myrtle, you're here. Yes, 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 darling, I'm oh, here. Myrtle. I'm right here, yes. Oh, Myrtle, oh, it was Myrtle. so awful. I have never been so scared in my life, Myrtle. I, know, I, know, I, know. I, I delivered the baby. And I promised that I would take care of the baby and that I would protect the baby. And I, I was going to get the baby to the doctor. But the car skidded on the ice, Myrtle. It skidded on the ice and it went over the guardrail and it plunged into the water, which was so cold and it was so dark. And I couldn't oh, see. I couldn't oh, see, but I did go down again and again and again. Don't, 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 don't. You tried. It wasn't enough, Myrtle. It wasn't enough. I reached over to try to hold the baby in the basket while I felt the car hitting the ice. But I couldn't hold on, Myrtle. The baby was so tiny. And I don't know what happened. I must have blacked out. Of course you did. But then I, I still kept looking for the baby. And I couldn't find the baby. And the yeah. baby was so tiny. And I left the baby no, down you there. Did not. You did not, darling. No. I shouldn't have done that. I should oh, never God. have left the lady. I should have stayed with the baby. I should have stayed there. Sweetheart, sweetheart. You would have been drowned. The baby is at peace now. You did everything you could. I prayed to my mother. I, I, I begged her to be the baby's guardian angel. Darling, darling, you can be sure the baby is with her now. But Myrtle, I never gave up, I swear to you. I, I really didn't give up. I kept trying and trying to find the baby. Darling, nobody is blaming you. You did all you could and more. It was a terrible tragedy. Oh, but darling, thank God. Thank God you're over. Thank God for that. No, just my sweetheart. You get into bed and get some rest. Let me help you. Come on. Oh, Myrtle. No, no. Every time I close my eyes, all I see is, is the baby in the basket. And Erica, I hear that little Erica, cry. Don't do it to yourself. Do you hear me? Don't do this to yourself. It's over. Oh. Now, I'm going to find Dimitri. No. No. I, 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 I want to be alone. Sweetheart, you need him to help you get through this. No, Myrtle, I, I don't want to meet you right now. But, sweetheart, he loves you more than life. I, I just think that you're probably right. I just, I'm tired, and, and I am going to try and rest. Yeah, good girl. Close your eyes and see. Okay. You're going to be all right, sweetheart. Everything's going to be all right. could have picked up the phone and called me. Why didn't you? I, I tried. You tried. You, not hard enough. We were right here. Liza, um, I don't plan to make WRCW my life. Oh, I don't have time for part-time players, Jake. I... There's more to what I want than, than um, Q ratings mm -hmm. and the latest... Um, yeah, right. Well, you know what? You can stop and smell the roses on your own time. Uh, this is my own time. Not when Rudy is doing the work of four assistants. Free skating Jake is out. That's what this is all about. What this is about is you being a team player. Come off it, Liza. This, this little game cheapens both of us. You want me to put my life on hold just because you're married. Twenty million watched the practice. I got associates I can't pay. I got to defend a guy who terrorized an old woman because he can. See why USA Today says it's as if ER had traded in its scalpels for a gavel. The practice, ABC Tonight. Sorry that took so long. No, that's okay. Saved by the bedpan. Oh, you needed saving? Definitely. I'm a very long and not so subtle lecture about the evils of cohabitation. Oh, you're too old to lecture. Since when? Since you stopped listening. Uh -huh. 
So you're okay with it? It's not my decision. Translation. It's up to you and Gloria. Mm-hmm. Since when have you been so non-committal? Since when have you? Uh-huh. See, I knew it right there. There it is. Admit it. You hate the idea. It would not be my choice. For me? For any of my children. And not for Gloria, either. Why not? Well, it hasn't been that long since Dixie. Since Dixie what? Pulled up stakes and left town? Trust me, Ma, I know exactly how many months, days, hours, and minutes it's been. So now you're ready for this? Absolutely. Ma, it's a miracle. I look at Gloria, I feel like the luckiest man in the world. And not just for me, for Jamie, too. I mean, it's very important for me that my son is covered. Trust me, if he doesn't go along with this and the whole thing is off. So what are you going to tell him? Uh, that uh, Gloria is, what, moving in? Well, I don't know. I'll tell him that, you know... That... Look, I'll explain that Gloria and I are... Playing house? Oh, give me some credit, would you? I don't know, Ma. I'll come up with something. I know. I, I know it's important that he understand that I don't give him the wrong message. Why don't you give him the right message? All right, I, 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 yeah. I may be old-fashioned, mm -hmm. huh? but Jamie needs a sense of, of permanence. Hey, oh, honey, uh, maybe Gloria needs that, too. Maybe a little bit further on down the line, she may want a husband, another child. Hmm? Okay, I surrender. I get it. I hear you. Another shining example of Mother Knows Best. But it is your decision. I get a vote? I can't tell you what to do. Mm, but it sure is fun trying, isn't it? Oh, Tad. You know that no matter what you decide, I'm behind you 100%. You know that. Mm. Try and remember, though. The best things in life are worth waiting for. Can I quote you? <laughs> don't flatter yourself. I don't care what you do with your life. Yeah, that's why you're keeping me on such a short leash around the station. Why is that? Look, hey, hey. I, when I met you out at the inn, we had a, a, a connection that was so, it was so instantaneous. It was so, it was so deep. It was like a once-in-a-lifetime kind of, of, of thing. I tried to explain it to somebody. They'd been, say you were hallucinating or something. Maybe they're right. Was it so intense for you that it, it, it scared you? Hardly. Well, not, well you, you, you raced back here. You married Adam. You, no, one, no one forced you to. You just, you chose it. Why? I, <laughs> For love? No. For, for power? For security? Whatever. You, you've got yourself in this situation. You're the only one that can get yourself out of it. If, if that's what you're after. You know, but until you figure it out, you just, you can't come to my door and play the woman scorned. Liza, you have no say in my love life. You gave up that right when you said I do to Adam Chandler. So what you said to Dad, you meant that there was nothing between us? That there hadn't been for a really long time? What was I supposed to say? Hmm? That when I kiss you, I don't want to stop? That I'm afraid that we're going to start something we're both going to regret? Huh? And who says I would regret it? I want more than you can give me right now. And I just think maybe you should uh, go home back to your husband where you belong. And I will see you at work tomorrow. Okay?
This is completely off strategy. If we don't nail down cause, we've got nothing. We'll get our cause. They're probably going at it as we speak. Will you stop talking about her like she's an animal in heat? Oh, for... Look, opportunity's knocking, and you're tying my hands. We don't know what they're doing. Use your imagination. We catch Liza Flagrante Delicto, and you've got your divorce, and you've got your assets intact. Now, if she sparks to this Jake kid, light the fuse. I don't have time for this right now. It's, I'll you, call you. You're live for your checkbook. I'll walk you out. sudden stall. You're not... No, no, it can't be true. Don't tell me you're falling in love with your wife. I'm not a baby. We'll see tomorrow. Barry, are you out of your... That's absurd. It would explain why you're dragging your feet. Me in love with Liza Colby? It's Liza Chandler. And it'll stay Chandler if we don't move on this. I know what the stakes are. The clock's ticking, Adam. No. I'm as sober as a divorce judge. Now, are you out of your mind? Meeting with Jake right under Adam's nose? How do you know where I've been? Would you look around? You have arrived, Liza. It doesn't get any better than this. Would you listen to me? I have been rich and I have been poor. And trust me, darling, rich is better. Now, have you forgotten that you are married to Adam? Maybe I have. Speaking of the cheese... The what? No, no, no. It's an inside joke. I'll tell you later. So, um, how are you holding up? Okay. Yeah, Mount old man. Is there anything I can do? No, I'm just dealing with a lot of loss, you know? Yeah. Why don't I sign you out? Hmm? Thank you, Ruth. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? What? <laughs> it's probably high time that you let somebody take care of you. I know just the guy for the job. He's mm. handsome, witty, urbane, charming. <laughs> Good cook, makes a mean pasta, and is prepared to massage all the tension out of every single muscle in your body. So what do you say? What do you think? Come on, let's go. All right, little angel, come on. Let's take it nice and slow, just a few drops. Hmm? Huh? No? Oh, sweetie. Oh, it takes time to feel the calm heart, doesn't it? Yeah. But don't you worry. Don't worry. I'm going to take good care of you. children. Tomorrow on All My Children. I know that I want you as much as you want me. And I don't understand why we can't have everything we want. We can't go to a doctor, yeah? I want you to let me take you back so you can get some rest. I'm not going back. 
The Oprah Winfrey Show will be talking with TV legend Dick Clark. If you loved American Bandstand and TV's bloopers and practical jokes and you'd like to attend the taping, call The Oprah Show at 591-9111. Academy Awards, one week from Monday on ABC. Watch what happens when Carlos Killer is revealed on One Life to Live. Coming up next. See who will walk off at the...